In this episode, we finish up the bottom paint, we turn one of the bathrooms into a bedroom for Alana, and we go on our first dinghy adventure to Peanut Island. So you remember that patch that we talked about earlier on? Well, we found out what it was. It's on both sides, and what it is is a place where they used to have dagger boards. Here I'll show you a picture of the um, pulley system on the top for that dagger boards. And um, for whatever reason, they decided to um, not use them and extended the keels and um, just fiberglassed over it. So all in all, we haven't actually found any damage to the aluminum hull. There's been some additions. Um, so we have the keels being extended. We have the sugar scoops being extended, which we really like. Underneath the boat, we have the ridges uh, on the bottom so that when you get wave slap, it doesn't vibrate the entire bottom as much. And these big ones are um, fiberglass added to it. And then actually between the hull and the back cockpit was nothing originally. And they actually added a fiberglass um, so that it's continual from the hull to the cockpit area. And now there's storage place. We had a bit of rain, so we're letting the life jackets dry out that were in this green container. Down here, Mike is taking out the old propane hot water heater. We don't have plans to keep propane on the boat. It's very rusted anyway. Say that again. It's very rusted anyway. What you doing? I'm taking the rotted walls out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I got some of this down here. You can see it's like plasticky orange and then plywood followed by bubble wrap, gummy spray foam, and blue foam. And then there's this, there's the aluminum hull. So the entry room back there and the bathroom and it's very sweaty, very sweaty. Looks sweaty. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Since we were taking out a bathroom and a lot of the flooring and fixing that up, we ended up getting pretty familiar with Home Depot. Went there a few different times, but this time we got a lot of our wood and we actually used a lot of PVC board. Super thankful for our Honda Fit that actually fits pretty much everything we need. One of the things that happened on the hard um, was we had this beautiful Cooper Hawk that would often sit on our mast and um, made a super cute sound. And it was just something that all of us liked to see. Um, the same one came back multiple days in a row. And next episode, he's actually going to be highlighted. We'll talk about him later, though. So we finally finished our bottom job. And this was just a huge success for us. Um, so we decided to do a little adventure here on the left you see 
is Peanut Island, and we were gonna go explore that. So there hasn't been a lot of me actually discussing on video what we've been doing because these last few weeks have been super busy and um, a bit depressing if I'm going to be blunt about it. Um, working with different um, contractors, trying to get our engines working, it was all very difficult and energy consuming. So um, this was a huge turning point for us. We finished the bottom of our boat all by ourselves. Um, we have a plan for the engines and the sail drives. Um, I'm probably going to have an entire episode about that, but more on that next week for sure. And this is our first time we actually got to go out and enjoy Florida from a boating perspective. So it was a lot of fun to come to Peanut Island. So Peanut Island is Oh, you can only get there by boat and it's free admission. Um, it's 80 acres. They have some really cool stuff there like um, artificial reef and a lot of fish to go snorkel and see. Um, there's actually um, JFK's Cold War bunker on the island except it's um, not open right now. The island started to be created in 1918 when they dredged Lake Worth Inlet and it's now grown to 80 acres over the years. They opened up the park in 2005. Um, you can do camping, walking, snorkeling. Uh, we ended up hiking around the entire island this day. Um, super easy and nice walk. And um, it was just um, a, a really good um, day to go out and have some fun. Today, a moment that I woke up, every moment so up, it's gonna be a better day. Today, I know it's never easy going with the breeze. It's gonna be a better day. Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. But today, I think I hear the calling. Ocean full of sirens. Gonna be a better day. Today, I know I feel the breeze. So let's go take the sea. Oh, it's gonna be a better day. Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. whoa. So, over by this bridge right here, um, we go snorkeling next week, and I wasn't expecting much, but that was a super great spot. We ended up going back there multiple times before we left and um, just seeing some really cool stuff. Um, so more on that next week. Oh, don't you need it? Oh, don't you feel the same? So we made it to Marathon, I've been there for over a year and I'm loving it. So happy that you could come along and we're going to show you how we got there and some adventures along the way. I've been excited to be able to share this with friends and family and with you guys. And one of the ways we've been able to do that is my coloring book, Florida Keys Coloring. It's uh, just all the fish and coral that we've seen here and um, you can check it out at the website floridakeyscoloring.com and join in with the experience. Next week we have a lot of things that happen. Go to Marathon, actually, and get the engine for our boat. We do some snorkeling, and there are some nefarious issues that we need to deal with. No matter the path, no matter on land or sea, we won't be alone.